Hey y'all, it's Joseph Lipper, and today I have a really cool robot design I want to share with you. This design can score on the wall sticks better than pretty much any other design I've seen, and barely anyone is using this design. It is super cool, super fast, super simple, and light, and it fits on like pretty much any robot. You might have seen this design where I got it from this video right here, and it was pretty good. But I have a better version of it that I want to share with you. Check this out. Here's how it works. It just has this little arm that goes up and down and just flips it up onto the wall stick. It's super simple, like so simple that you wouldn't even think of it. But it works so well. I've used it in scrimmages and matches and it, it works. In case you want to see a little bit more of how the ring is interacting with everything and how you might want to put it on your robot, here's a slow motion video of it. See, the key to this design is these two little metal pieces right here. They keep the ring in place when you're turning, moving around as you're trying to score, and they make it a lot easier to keep your position and get it on the wall stake. So if you want pictures of this so you can build it on your robot, click the link in the description below and I'll send you all the details. This mechanism is already crazy good, but what makes it better than any other wall stake mechanism is that it can be used for more things than just scoring on the wall stake. See, you can use this mechanism for so many things. You can use it for tipping over goals, so that way your opponents can't get them. You can use it for untipping the goals, so that way you can have your opponent's goals that they tipped over. You can use it to score on your alliance stake. You can even use it to score on the mobile goals, if it's in someone else's mobile goal grabber. You can even maybe integrate it into your climber somehow. I don't know, I haven't figured out everything about this clock. This arm is just so good though. So. I really suggest you put it on your robot. Click that link in the description for all the details. I will send you everything you need to know about this arm. Just click that link below, like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.